channel so today I'm going to be starting project pen and if you hear any noise in the background I am watching the proud family movie so this is what I have starting off for project pen I do have more things but I'm going to replace them whenever I finish with the other products that I have so for the eyeshadow palette I'm trying to um, pan this Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Honestly, this palette... Honestly, this palette is not my favorite. It's just basic and kind of plain and I just don't reach for it anymore. So, I have that. Um, spray that I'm trying to hit pan on. That I'm trying to hit pan on is the Marc Jacobs perfecting coconut setting mist the spritzer on this is bad and it kind of makes me greasy so for this i'm just gonna call it a blush topper but it's the um trolls and mac it just says that it's a beauty powder but it's like a pink shimmer but very faint like you can't even you barely see that so I just call this I just use this as a blush topper so that's another thing I'm trying to use up this LA colors soft brown pomade nothing bad with it I just trying to use it up I replay I have my Anastasia now and I just prefer that one so I'm also trying to use this Kat Von D locket translucent powder um, well now it's KVD, but honestly I don't like this and I don't want to use anything Cap on D anymore. So this is something I'm trying to use up. I have two blushes. I wasn't sure if I should just do one at a time because I have three, but I think I'm just going to do two. This is one shimmer and I have two mattes. So I'm just going to use, I'm trying to use up these Tarte blushes. This is in the shade some supreme yeah supreme so i just had these for a while and honestly i haven't even used them i prefer other blushes and this is the one in stellar it's very shimmery so. i'm trying to use up this smashbox photo finish foundation primer it's almost there but like there's still like some here and like still some in here so I'm trying to use that up for bronzer and contour I'm trying to use up this Essence Sun Club matte bronzing powder in lighter skin it just looks like this and for contour I'm trying to use up this Wet n Wild contouring palette in Dulce de Leche For setting powder, I'm trying to use up this e.l.f. one. See, I already hit pan on it, but like, I just stopped using it. I'm trying to finish it up. But I'm, try I'm trying to use up this Bare Minerals Gen Nude. I just got it, but honestly, it's not my favorite. It's in the shade Golden Topaz, and it's just very meh. Like, I could get better payoff with just the regular gold shimmer shadow so for highlighter i want to use up this smashbox um palette it's a mini version of the of the casey holmes one so i'm trying to use this up and for eyebrow powder i'm trying to use up this hard candy one uh, the top broke off but it's the hard candy brows now so and the last thing is this clean and clear do action moisturizer which I'm trying to use up um, I don't really know how I'm gonna measure this but I'm gonna try my best 
Okay, so I know I said the moisturizer is the last thing, but then I realized that I don't have any foundation or concealer, and I do have some stuff I want to use up. So I'm trying to use up this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. Um, the shade was just a little too dark for me. And then for concealer, I'm just trying to use up this YSL, the, the Touche Clot Concealer. Um, it's not really concealer. I would say like you mix it with the concealer, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of this. So, I thought I would just do a look with all this Project Pan stuff. So, I'm going to take pictures of how everything is, and then I'll get started on the makeup. Mm. Also, want to say I want to get rid of this Kat Von D Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer. I forgot I had this. So, hmm. I'm going to measure this out real quick. Okay, so... I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow just because for eyebrows I'm going to do something like real natural since I'm not going anywhere and I plan on filming another video after this. So, so going in with the Kat Von D um, Locket Primer, I also put measured it so that's where the base is and then that's where I'm starting from. So I'm going to measure it. So, what do you guys think? Like, should I do... Okay, maybe I rolled it up too much. Should I do... Should I do weekly updates? Um... Okay, this is really hard because it's breaking. Um, so yeah, y'all should let me know. I mean, maybe I will just do... Monthly... I mean, maybe I will do weekly uploading, like, of the Project Pan process. Just because I feel like a month process, like, that's too long, so. Setting my lid with white peach. I usually have, like, my three go-to looks that I do, usually with this palette, like, with these browns and then like with these peaches but I think I might do something a little more simple today so and going in with puree and just putting that everywhere I'm going in with nectar. It's like a it's like a shimmery color. Okay, I just put it all over my entire lid and then I'm just going to blend. Going in with that Bare Minerals um, Golden Topaz eyeshadow thing, my jigger. Just taking that on the flat brush. Just use this moisturizer and I'm, tr oh, I'm trying to see where it's at and I usually do two pumps I'm going to use the foundation as a concealer too. So, just take it on the back of my hand. See how a little bit darker it is. No, I'm just going. I didn't prime. Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, so using the smash box. And then for concealer, I'm just going to use that Touche Clot. So I did one click, two clicks. Setting my under eyes with the Wet n Wild, this is the Leche, the white powder. Going back in with the palette and just using that puree color that I used. And just lightly running that underneath. So I'm going back in going in with the elf powder setting my whole setting my whole face I'm gonna use the hard candy powder today just to be a little bit more soft I just brushed my eyebrows with the wax. Now I'm going to go in with the second shade with the first lighter shade in here. So I just did my eyebrows and... I still have to say about them. They're okay. I'm not gonna carve them out or anything. I just filled them in and made them a little bit longer. So I like them. I think they're natural. Then I'm just going to bronze using the Essence bronzer on a big brush. Going in with the bronzer on the wet and wild side. Then going in with the Kat Von D powder and I'm going to bake underneath my contour. Then going in with the highlighter, I'm just going to mix all three of them.
Then going in with that Tarte Blush in Supreme and mixing it with the Trolls MAC powder. I'm gonna put these on my cheeks. Add a lipstick and this is the The Milani Matte Naked Lipstick. Then just going in with the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. And I'm not going to curl my eyelashes just because I'm not going to be wearing this makeup for a long time. So I'm just going to wiggle a little bit on my lashes. So I just put on a little bit of mascara and I'm going to throw this one away because it's crusty, musty, dusty, and like nasty. So I'm going to throw that away. So. I messed up and I should have sprayed before I put the mascara on, but I didn't. So now I'm gonna wait till this mascara dries and then I will spray the Marc Jacobs on there. So this is a completed look. Just showing y'all um, the skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all next week on my next Project Pan upload.